Central, the crown jewel of Hong Kong, the central business district. Every day, swarms of people come here to earn, to shop, to socialize. Today, we'll bring you to its very heart, the Government Hill, Queensward Central, and Lang Kui Fong. First stop, Government Hill. Hmm, so far, what do we have here? Trees, pigeons, and squirrel. I have very fond of memories of the colonial buildings here. They are very majestic. Travelling to Hong Kong Island by ferry was a leisure activity back here in the 80s. Even the West Wing, I find it valuable. I'm one of the people who fought for it to stay. But it's all about steel skyscrapers now, said this old man who refuses to show his face. Enjoy his lunch in deserted green slopes around the government house. Next stop, Queen's World Central. Right in front of HSBC, we have the Court of Final Appeal and two parks around it, usually fairly empty even during lunch hours. People come here too early for work, waiting for other people, or walking past through elevator walkways from AIA. But under the shelters, people including security guards and construction workers are resting, having lunch, and the most socializing group, the smokers. Well, not exactly in the park. However, everything changes on Sundays. Many Filipinos would gather here after the Tagalog masses at St. John Cathedral. And if you were to ask them, they would say, Central to us is a very crowded place, but it has always been nice to see familiar faces, and it's very convenient. We like to find places with shelter, with rain and shade. The final stop, Lang Kui Fong, offering stylish drinks international food, clubbing, and popular music. Some events were believed to be held at this square, at least before the pandemic. Nowadays, we still manage to spot some Filipinos dancing around on Sunday, but on weekdays, it's very quiet. These Swiss expects agrees with us. We love to have lunch outdoors, so we came. I would describe this as an oasis of Central. Stepping out of it, you'll be surrounded by tall buildings immediately. Indeed, it's true. And how does this local think? My time here? Um, I just came here to buy takeaways. I don't really join parties either. I'll go home straight away after OT. Central is a very busy district, you know. And as observers, we can see stresses all around. Many people smoke here, they seek refuge from staircase, back alleys, covered areas, corners around the street, just anywhere outside of the park. But the future is not all gloomy. There are actively preserved monuments attracting artists aspire to introduce local culture to people, including One Bite. Overall, we have conducted over 20 interviews and two full days with different age groups, nationalities, and professions. One of the most surprising interviews was from a young businesswoman who filmed Central Streetscape after work to detail historical records from her own perspective. This contrasts hugely when you ask the younger people. They will say Central is a beautiful place, expensive and high class. Is that what we want our next generation to think Central is? What legacies are we leaving in this crown jewel of Hong Kong?